Okay, a bit of explanation as to why I'm recording this video. A while ago I released a set of tools for wire called the data tools. They were simple components for transferring data from one position to other but required line of sight so in some ways they were more realistic than the radios that already existed and also provided interesting possibilities for things like satellite uplinks and other line of sight based communication. However, for some reason most people found them quite difficult to use and quite difficult to grasp the concept behind them. So I know I'm probably about six months too late but I'm going to make a video now to try and explain how some of them work. First of all the data transferers. These are the most normally used data tools around. They are the main one that control all transfer in and out. The rest of the tools are just there to support the data transfer. Okay, first of all, on the left here we have the simplest setup for a data transfer. You have two transferers, each points at the other. You can see the data transferers beams are green as opposed to what they would normally be, which would be white. Green is indicating that it has successfully recognised the other data transferer and is capable of sending data. If it would come up red, you're projecting at an incorrect entity, or if it's white, you're not projecting at anything. Now, as the screens there are just showing the in and out A input and A output for each transferer and I am working this all off numpad inputs just for making it the, just to make making the video a little bit easier. You can see now that if I'm sending a one through it goes from one data transferer through the link to the other. I can similarly send another one back and I can send both at the same time. Next is a bit more of an interesting conundrum. This is one thing that seems to phase some people. The data transfer at the bottom is sending to the data transfer at the top. You can see it as the green beam. The data transfer at the top, however, is turned off and is phasing, well, a little box. But it's basically it's not connected to the one at the bottom. So you can see the one at the top is white, indicating not connected. The one at the bottom is green, indicating connected. So, if I try and send something from the one at the top, it's sending nothing's happening at the bottom, still naught. If I send the other one, it sends through fine. All data that's sent, the links are one way. If one transfer is pointing at the other, it can send data, but it can only receive data from the other if that one's pointing at it, as in the first one. The second one, because that one's pointing away, the data doesn't get through. Okay, some people have trouble grasping that. Next thing, now for a demonstration of one of the other wonderful components. Here we have a transferer and a screen and really long distance. Right at the other end, through the convenient camera, you can see we have a white panel. The white panel is a satellite dish. I have chosen that model just because it's a reasonably square panel. You'll also see another transferer. The transfer is linked to the satellite dish. That is using the satellite dish's tools reload function, which links it to a transferer. Transfer, as you can see, is just pointing off into space, and the screen there is showing the output of the transferer. Back to here. Now, I am sending a one down thing. The beam from this transferer, as you can see, is hitting the dish. The one, however, still gets through to the other transferer. Satellite dishes cause even more confusion than transferers for some reason. The satellite dish was originally intended for when you're sending data at long distances. As at a long distance, it's quite hard to get the transferer to point exactly at the other transferer, me being as it's quite a small object. So I thought about the idea for a while and I came up with the satellite dish. The satellite dish is just a ma it's just it can be modelled after any model and it just acts as a wide area receiver. Any data that's sent to the satellite dish just gets forwarded onto its transferer. So the satellite dish in effect is just making the transferer have a really large area. Other than that the satellite dish has no main purpose. It's just to aid receiving and also the I am set it up but the other data transferer is just receiving at the moment. It's like this system. Because the other data transferer isn't pointing back at this one it can't then send data back. The satellite dish just increases the area it can receive on and that just about covers it. The only thing left is the data store, which I'm not going to go into today for various reasons. One, that most people seem to understand how the data store works. And two, it's a bit tricky to show you because 
you can't see the data being stored inside, you can just see a data transfer with values coming in and out. But most people seem to grasp the data store better than the others. So with that, I will leave you. And because I don't often make tutorials, I don't have any catchphrase. So 